there's an interesting development happening around the NFL where the 49ers might be struggling a little bit more or will struggle a little bit more moving forward, at least this upcoming week, because Brock Purdy apparently suffered what might be a concussion on Monday Night Football against the Minnesota Vikings, which means that he's in concussion protocol, which also means that Sam Darnold might get the start for the San Francisco 49ers. That is coming from Adam Schefter, who said with Brock Purdy in concussion protocol, 49ers quarterback Sam Darnold now is in line to start Sunday's game versus the Bengals. And Field Yates follows it up, says, should Sam Darnold start the game and play over 25% of the snaps in a 49ers win over the Bengals, he would earn a $300,000 incentive. So obviously Sam Darnold is chomping at the bit to make sure that Brock Purdy stays out of the game, doesn't pass concussion protocol, and he gets to start because he's going to play 25% of the snaps, and they most likely will win because the 49ers... They lost back-to-back games already. People were saying there's no way the the Niners lose two in a row. Well, eh, they did. Okay, so going in that third game, I doubt they're going to be wanting to lose. They're probably going to be playing with a little bit more urgency to get the dub. But Sam Darnold starting for the San Francisco 49ers will give us an opportunity to look at just how good that team is and just how good Brock Purdy is. Is it Brock Purdy that's making these throws and looking phenomenal, or is it the... Kyle Shanahan offense that he runs that's making Brock pretty good. We'll get to see that firsthand if Sam Darnold gets to start because Sam Darnold's career (laughs) hasn't been great at all. Regardless of him being on the New York Jets or the Carolina Panthers, this dude has been garbage. Okay, There was a person that I used to work with that said Sam Darnold is better than, I I can't remember, Jared Goff. And I was like, you're kidding me. He's like, yeah, who would you rather have, Sam Darnold or Jared Goff? And I said, Jared Goff, because Sam Darnold's stats doesn't tell me that he's a franchise quarterback, doesn't tell me that he's a starting quarterback. It tells me he's a backup quarterback. Let's look at his stats real quick. Year to year, his best year, 2019, he still threw 13 picks, 19 touchdowns, 3,000 yards. Since that year, 2020, only 2,200 yards, 9 tutties, 11 picks. Then he goes to Carolina, still 9 tutties, 13 picks. And then his last year in Carolina, 1,100 yards, 7 tutties, 3 picks, was looking like he was going to have a bounce back year, was going to look like the Sam Darnold we all hoped he was coming out of USC. However, that hasn't been the case at all. Gets traded over to the San Francisco 49ers, and now they had a little bit quarterback a battle between Sam Darnold, Brock Purdy, Trey Lance. Who's going to be that number two quarterback? Who's going to be the starter? Well, we figured out real quick that the Niners are moving on from Trey Lance, gets sent over to the Dallas Cowboys. So that means Sam Darnold is the backup. And the only way he's going to play is if he wins the battle or if Brock Purdy just happens to have, you know, an injury. And we're hit that week where Brock Purdy now has to pass concussion protocol and Sam Darnold is in line to start for the 49ers against the Cincinnati Bengals. And honestly, if it is all Brock Purdy, if Brock Purdy is actually as good as advertised and it's not just the offense that's making him look good, I'd worry if I was a 49ers fan about going against the Cincinnati Bengals because the Bengals, if they get moving and grooving, they could put points on the board and run away with this thing real quick. But if it's Kyle Shanahan's offense, that's making Brock Purdy look good. I'd expect Sam Darnold to go out there and do exactly what Brock has been doing all year, slinging the rock, okay? Little little dinks and dunks and moving down the field slowly, but surely giving the rock to Christian McCaffrey a heavy amount. He played like all snaps on Monday night or something like that. So they will be fine. But we're really going to get the firsthand look at what actually causes the 49ers to have success offensively. Defensively, they're a juggernaut. They're going to make it tough for the opposing team regardless, okay? But offensively, we really don't know what Brock Purdy is because a lot of people are saying it's the offense. It's Kyle Shanahan. It's He's making Brock Purdy look this good. Yeah, well, Brock Purdy also has to make the throws, make the decisions, call the plays, like make the audibles, do all that stuff. He still has to do all that, right? Kyle Shanahan ain't out there slinging the rock. It's just not, not, not happening. So in my opinion, I think Brock Purdy's what is making that offense successful passing wise, not just Christian McCaffrey in the backfield, other than Kyle Shanahan, uh, other than Kyle Shanahan. So I think this is going to be a tough one for San Francisco if Brock Purdy doesn't pass concussion protocol. Even though they're still a really, really good team, it's going to be a lot tougher to win against the Cincinnati Bengals. But again, we will get a firsthand look at just how good that offense can be. So you guys can let me know in the comments what you think about this. Who starts? Do they roll with Sam Darnold if they have to? 
How well does he perform? Does he get the dub for Sam Fran? Let me know in the comment section below. Drop a like and subscribe to the channel. It'd be much, much appreciated. Have a great rest of your day, folks. And you just got your fix with the Wicks.